My name is Albert Ong and I'm Professor of Renal Medicine at the University of Sheffield. I lead a group uh, working on ADPKD in the Department of Infection and Immunity at the University. ADPKD is a genetic disease and due to mutations or genetic defects in one of two genes, it can be passed on from generation to generation such that uh, each generation has a 50% chance of inheriting the disease. The disease can occur at any age, typically starting between the ages of 20 to 40. Because the ADPKD can present uh, in many different ways, and can also often be silent, uh, it can be a difficult diagnosis to make. However, we know that it can affect children and even infants and can occur in people uh, at a much older age. Disease develops really as a little cysts from which the, the, the disease derives its name. And cysts are really little uh, blisters that arise from uh, the kidney substance. Uh, they are full of fluid and uh, generally they arise as tiny structures but over time they get bigger and they cause the kidneys to get very large and destroy the function of the normal kidney over time. Sometimes uh, the disease can present uh, suddenly when a cyst bursts um, and that can present with pain uh, and pass the passage of blood in the urine. Other times cysts may get infected and uh, the patients may present with fever uh, and signs of a urine infection. Um, and uh, some patients get a lot of pain which can be due to the cysts actually uh, causing the kidneys to swell uh, and this can be a chronic problem. Although ADPKD can start at any age, by the age of 55, almost half of all patients would require dialysis or a transplant as their kidneys would have failed. Uh, this will have a huge impact on the individual and their families because they would change their, their pattern of life in terms of having to come to hospital for dialysis, uh, they affect their ability to work full time and possibly affect their decisions to have children. For such a common genetic disease, I think there is relatively little awareness among medical professionals about ADPKD.